All right, guys, we are back with Steam Band. Um, and I've repositioned my microphone. I noticed there was a lot of percussive sounds in the last uh, in the last episode. I'm still getting used to where to position this thing. It may be worse today. I don't know. Uh, I'll, time will tell. Um, but hopefully this is better. Let's fire up our darned game, if I can find it. File. Open. XR2000. That's the name. Um... I did I did briefly watch back some of yesterday's video. Obviously, that's how I found out um, there was problems with the sound. But I, I also noticed something, <laughs> something in passing. I mean, they start walking around, and I'll tell you this minor tale. Um, something in passing yesterday, or that was in the recorded video from yesterday, when we were setting up our character. And I, I've commented on the fact that it's it's kind of odd, and and frankly, kind of dangerous. I think um, something I hadn't considered before, but kind of dangerous to chickens. Um, to fight chickens. To include as your player character races different um, real world uh, nationalities even. They're not even races in this game. There's nationalities really, mostly. Um, because you you have to assign differences. Let's pick up the iron ray gun. Um, and a lapi lazuli ring. Um, and uh, a eureka pepsin. I'm kind of surprised rings are still a thing. Like, it's, uh, what? I don't have room. Let's figure out what we can do. I'll, I'll tell you this thought in a second. Let me, let me get rid of something here. Um, la 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 la. Are we still wearing the. Uh, do, do we still have the one that's genetic? Let's get rid of the genetic replication. We don't need that. And we'll take this. Alright, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have to go back to the surface soon to sell some of this shit. I don't know why we didn't sell our potions before. Or our tonics, pardon me. Anyways, it, it can be kind of dangerous because you have to assign certain differences between the nationalities in terms of statistics. And since you're dealing with real-world people, you're making um, assertions or assumptions or, or or displaying your own biases about uh, how you personally feel about different uh, nationalities on Earth. I, I commented on it yesterday with the the weirdness that Americans had strangely high stats, which is obviously, I mean, I'm guessing the designer was American and had a a self-preference for his own nationality, but um, one thing I did notice that gave me pause when I was watching the the video back was the Asiatics, who I, I commented on they had oddly low stats, but they also had infravision. How the hell do Asians have infravision? That's just fucked up. That's an odd choice, man. Uh, I think a dangerous choice. I remember when my, my dad used to be in the Navy, I mean, before I was born. I, I, I never... I didn't exist at a time when he was in the Navy. Um, but he was in the Navy, and he, he told me about some of the things they were taught that he, you know, can recognize now are just A, stupid, and B, racist. Um, but the Canadian Navy actually taught that Asians have poor night vision because of their um, canted eyes, um, or almond-shaped eyes, or whatever. It was just obviously utterly ludicrous. Let me see what I can do here. Um... But that sort of, you know, uh, idea persisted nonetheless, and I, 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 I just find it weird to see it reflected. Let's get rid of the fried fish. Oh, let's eat a fried fish if we can. No, not that. E. Uh, how do we eat? Maybe we can only drink because we are, um... Yeah, we can drink flasks of oil. Let's drop the fried fish. I mean, improvision is even more bizarre. And frankly, I guess the opposite of what my father was taught. But, um... I don't know. Just, it just stood out to me. It's like, here's a textbook example of why you should be really cautious about taking that approach in your own roguelike if you are doing so. Uh, let's go back to the east here. We only need 20 more experience. Let's at least level up once more before we head out, unless we uh, exhaust the throwing hatchet. That's, that's interesting. Not going to take it, though. Don't need haddocks. Don't need kidney pudding. I don't know if those foodstuffs uh, might indicate that the designer was specifically of English descent as opposed to American, or if it's just he associates those foods with um, you know, traditional steampunk literature. Perhaps there was a lot of British either writers or... Um, or British influence in the writings. Maybe a lot of the stories took place in a, with a British vibe. I don't know. Victorian era. I 
Let's look at the map. Down into the west is our only real bet. We'll keep the holographic projection ray gun for now because, um, you know, it, it frightens enemies. It's a little fear spell, and it's kind of neat, and uh, it might maybe it'll prove useful in that regard. But we'll, we'll probably give the others away unless we get a chance to use them down here and zap something to find out what they do. Oh, I killed that guy before I even had a chance to register he was there. Would have been an ideal opportunity to use one of my new ray. Oh! Okay, let's try it. Let's um, aim. Aim which ray gun? The aluminum ray gun. To the south. The comp segnathus is unaffected, but it looks like we've maybe figured out what it is. Maybe. Did we? It's us. What the hell does that mean? A soporific. It puts people to sleep? Yeah. Um, it also occurred to me yesterday that we have found an anemograph. Um, and I said I don't know what that word means. I'm guessing. We, we never did determine what it means. Um, God damn it. Oh, come on. I'm guessing it measures iron in the blood, an anemograph, because it gives this association with the. Uh, the word anemia. We don't want a polymorph wand. There, we kill that thing. Let's just aim fucking shit at these guys, too. The iron ray gun we tried. We must know it's a polymorph thing, or else it wouldn't be what it told us you failed to polymorph it, right? What's that one? A ruined ray gun of photic beam. It must be like a magic missile. I hate, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for, for breaking everything down and destroying the illusion. When I'm converting things to uh, base angband ideals. But it's how I make sense of things. Shoots a bolt or beam of photons. Alright, well, maybe we'll keep that one too. We'll see. But we need this. Let's drop the, uh... Let's drop the act. What does a clean tool do? We don't know that either. Let's use... Well, let's not use a power. Although we have much more powers, don't we? We haven't used yet. Object analysis, that's going to be great. We'll try and use that in a second. Um, first, let's see. Little U? Use which tool? R. Use R. Alright, so it's a staff of flight. It's a clean tool of photon generation. Let's kill him. Let's kill him, let's kill him. Alright, do we want to drop something, and if so, what? Can we use the... Uh, see if we can use that ability or not. It does say it's level 18. You need a utility cipher skill rank of 18 to use power. So we're going to start concentrating on that. Because that's pretty fucking awesome. We need the barrel ring, guys. Clearly. Let's drink. Let's quaff. E. Um, oh, we can't use potions. Guys, there's a, there's a drawback to being an automaton. Really? Q and E both bring up for us drink which item, and we can only do oil. That's it. Wait, are we warm? Why are we warm? Maybe the, um... Either the... Well, maybe the, maybe the photon generation made us warm. I don't know. Let's drop... Fuck, oh, I'm sorry about all those fucking potions. Let's drop at least one of them. Let's drop the, uh... We don't have to identify it. It's probably water. Clear tonic. Take the barrel ring. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're carrying too much. Let's find our way out. Out and up. Despite what I said about going up a level. Oh, we're on level one. I thought we were on level two. I have no idea what the townsfolk here are, by the way, guys. We, we don't know if there's like a squint-eyed rogue still slurking around, or what, what, what's in here. We don't have any books. Let's sell slash giveaway. No sell, that's right. Uh, maybe keep the pistol bullets? We'll draw the pistol bullets in our home. In case we finally use a uh, a pistol, we'll pick up the uh, P jacket since we know we can't use it. Oh, for God's sakes! Isn't there a? I guess there's no and symbol for everything or anything in the game yet. Let's get a. Let's. What, what, like, what is this guy? Just a drunkard. All right, that's pretty standard. Looks so like he's been drinking just a little too hard. He lives in the town and moves slowly. Probably drools on us. 
Let's sell. A pea jacket. Whoa, for a fuck ton of money. I'm glad we, uh, brought that in. You have nothing that I want. What are you? A... D a demimondane. I don't know what that word means. A striking beauty strides towards you. Ah, damn. Her long petticoats swirl around her delicate legs. She giggles as she moves toward you. She is quite attractive. Dot, dot, dot. She lives in the town and moves slowly. Nothing is known about her embrace. Um, let's see if we can sell anything here. For instance, all of our potions that we can't use. It looks like we're getting back, um, as far as I can tell, we're selling things for roughly 90% of its purchase price, which is pretty damn good compared to what you would get in a, you know, standard Angband game where you get, like, maybe 50% or 25%. Or I'll have to look at our, um, maybe we have high charisma? I don't know. I, again, I can't gauge that because I don't know what the metric is. You hear someone sobbing. He was sad. I sold him this. It, it, I'll tell you something interesting about the the tonic system here. Um, they have them labeled with very specific medicinal properties. This is a rheumatic cure. Um, I guess it would cure rheumatoid arthritis, allegedly. But what it really does is confuse you. So I think it speaks to a world where shysters and con men and hucksters, and what is the other word for that? To people who sell uh, quack doctors. Um, where a lot of the shit's just bullshit. So it's, it is kind of neat that we can't use the potions. Um, it's disappointing, obviously. But, uh, but it does help to offset some of our insane power. Let's get rid of, uh, what do we want to keep? Let's get rid of the, actually, let's get rid of the holographic projection. We'll keep the sleep one for now. Cool. Let's sell, uh, sell the ion ray gun and find out once and for all if it's foot, if it's a, it's a Darwinian change. Yes, it's a polymorph. <laughs> let's get rid of all the rings. So let's find out if we can wear them. Can we wear a ring? Yes, we, we would be allowed. I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to. Let's just find out what it does. Hunger deterrent. That wouldn't have helped us. Wouldn't hurt us either. He can't. He can't take any more. Resist fire. That might have been useful. Resist water. We're keeping the rest, right? Sure. No, let's sell the steel-plated radiograph dealy bob. Door stair location. Okay. A steel-plated radiograph mechanism of door stair location. Um, we don't have anything here we want to sell, do we? We don't carry any extra weapons or anything. No, just our shovel. I think we're good to go. Don't know what this place is. I guess it's not for us, right? We can't do steamware, whatever that is. And we can't do surgery. I guess it's like cybernetics, maybe? And I don't know what the hell steamware is. Aside from video games. You know what we do need is, just in case, Get some of these. See, uh, let's get five of these. Brass anemograph mechanisms. So it measures the iron in your blood and teleports you. As any good such anemograph should do. Let's escape from this petticoat junction girl. This level can't be all bad. Uh, let's try and find our way down. I think we're ready, definitely, for a. Uh, Let's get the peppermint water. Even though we're not going to be able to drink it. Is this down? Up, up is down. This literally can't be all bad. Giant white cave mouse. This is about weekly killing it. Interesting. 
We are level four. We feel very rested. We feel very good. Our head, we feel our head clear. We are hot. We went from being warm to being hot, guys. Are we like overheating? Are we like a fucking battle mech? Because we've been firing our PPCs too often? I don't know what this means. Why are we hot? I don't think it's the good kind of hot. You can see besides skill points, there's also a category for stat growth. I'm guessing maybe at a certain level you gain more points that you pump into your primary attributes, and that is what um, what it meant when it said stat growth on the character creation screen. You know, Utility Cipher is for sure what we want most of. Let's take that always. And hoppity hop. Neophyte combat for sure. Hoppity hop. Let's take using devices since we know we do that. And let's hit escape. There is also a way to train in town for money, I believe. So maybe you get your maybe you get your stat points from that. Why are we hot? This frightens me, guys. Our fighting has become favorable. Our searching has become terrible. T ter tolerable. Son of a bitch. Sorry. We do have... What? Two extra points of muscle, muscle and two extra points of vigor coming from one of our... from our tin body. That's right. Let's keep an eye on our temperature gauge, guys, because I just... I don't know what to make of that. What did that say? You feel something roll. I must have killed something invisible. Pick up a book? Yeah. Let's inspect E. Looking back to all that has occurred to me since that eventful day, I am scarcely... Oh, this is Journey to the Center of the Earth. Sorry, I'm not used to reading the title at the top. I'm scarcely able to believe in the reality of my adventures. They were truly so wonderful that even now I am bewildered when I think of them. My uncle was a German, having married my mother's sister. Your uncle was a German? That's fine, okay. I wasn't sure if there was uh, some sort of incest implied there, but there's not, of course. That's how anybody becomes your uncle. <laughs> By marrying your mother's sister. Or father's sister, I guess. An English woman. Being very much attached to his fatherless nephew, he invited me to study under him in his home in the fatherland. This home was in a large town, and my uncle, a professor of philosophy, chemistry, geology, mineralogy, and many other ologies. One day, after passing some hours in the laboratory... My uncle being about at the same... No, at the time. I suddenly felt the necessity of renovating the tissues. I.e. I, I was hungry. <laughs> I was about to rouse up our old French cook when my uncle, Professor von Hardwig, suddenly opened the street door and came rushing upwards, Jules Verne. Books often contain blah, blah, blah. Take them to somewhere quiet to read them. But not a library, you moron. I have a soft spot. Um, for Journey to the Center of the Earth, the movie. Um, years and years ago... How many years ago? Um, this would have been 1999, I guess. So what is that? Uh, 24 years ago. Um, I was working to... It seemed like the scroll... The, the, uh, it seemed like there was no scrolling action there on the, on the screen. It weirded me out. Um, I was working two separate theater jobs on the Toronto Islands. There's a small outdoor theater there. And, uh, fuck, he confused us. The terminal confused us. The vending machine confused us. There we go. We're still hot. Um, I was doing children's theater by day with a theater I co-founded with a bunch of other people called the Shrimp Magnet Theater Company. And uh, by night I was doing the tragedy of Cymbeline in the same theater, um, which means basically I was just working from like dawn till till 11 p.m. every day, and uh, it wore me down. Over the course of the summer, I, I got just exhausted, and I didn't see what that said. And um, beyond exhausted, I got quite sick. Towards the end of the summer, I was like, I, I to say I was on my deathbed is clearly an exaggeration, but it felt like I was on my deathbed. I could barely move. I don't know what the hell happened to me. I have no idea if it was an illness or if it was just exhaustion. But it was bad enough that at the time I was... Well, I'm faint from lack of food. Jesus Christ. I was eating some fucking oil. That's what I was saying. Ah, oh, that's why I was hot. So we don't get hungry, guys. We get hot. Your engine has sufficient lubricant. All right, thank God. 
Sorry. Um, s s slowness, we don't need that, no. Anyways, um, I was young, so obviously I, I called my parents from my deathbed to come and... Uh, oh, I'm still using the shovel. To come to my aid, and they traveled the four hours distance between our, our hometown and Toronto and uh, took care of me. And I can remember I'd, it was also during a breakup. I was breaking up with, at the time, my, uh, my girlfriend at the time. We had lived together, so she had left, and technically the bed belonged to her, so I was sleeping on an air mattress. And I can just remember... Um, as my mother basically nursed me back to this side of the the veil, uh, falling asleep on that, uh, like sleeping on that air mattress for like three days straight, um, not even rising out of bed to be fed, like I was fed in bed, as I recall. And during that time, of course, um, occasionally watching TV from the the comfort of the bed of the air mattress. And what should come on but Journey to the Center of the Earth? So I still associate that film. With um, with safety and comfort and I guess survival, um, as opposed to with sickness itself. Don't know why I searched for that door. It was kind of fruitless, but I did it. Let's try um. Well, let's kill this guy. Oh, a Morlock, the opposite of the Eloy, of course, coming from um, H. G. Wells's The Time Machine. Let's uh, use. We've used um, the sensor array, I believe. Eh? All right, maybe, maybe we haven't. Oh, we can, if we, we can see traps, guys. We should be using that much more often. I need systems cipher skill rank of one. We have, we don't have that, guys. We have utility cipher. I think at a certain point we can learn system cipher. Maybe after we get utility cipher to level ten or something. We can branch off and learn a second skill set, but let's. Um, one of the things this game is lacking, I'm just noticing from you know more contemporary versions of Ang Band, we just use the detects traps um, ability, but there's no indication on the screen that we are still within a safety range of having detected traps. I wish it had that. Nevertheless, let's just remember to use it once in a while. It doesn't cost as much. Let's use it right now. Some doors, guys. Important to find doors. We're only level four. We get one more level. We'll go uh, to the next dungeon level. Wait, what are you? A dancing candle flame. Let's kill the dancing candle flame. Don't need biscuits. Let's just leave the biscuits behind. Even the word biscuits, fairly British phrasing. I had a friend in theater school, a very lovely woman who um, was relating to me an argument she'd had with her mother. A capuchin monkey, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Everything's down here, guys. This is the net hack of roguelikes. Well, aside from net hack. Um. <laughs> She was relaying to me uh, an argument she'd had with her mother. And she said to her mother, I've had the biscuit, which I guess is a very British way of saying I'm fed up. And her mother retorted, You look like you've had the whole box. Which I always thought was a witty, witty as hell and very asshole thing to say. Let's use our staff of light. Well, let's use our sensor array because we're there. Alright. Use. Which tool? A uh, clean tool of photon generation. Probably only have limited uh, uses in it. So I probably would have been better off selling it, to be honest. It's only as a rod that recharges. I think those are all pheasants, if I was, uh, if I remember correctly. Get it warm, guys. Let's eat some flasks of oil. Well, at least we know what that means now. It's kind of neat. It's kind of neat that it doesn't say hungry or thirsty or whatever. I think. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, we don't need that. No, let's not even pick it up. Instead, let's just use our own ability. 
Oh, look at that. We found a door beside us. No. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. I did by accident, guys. We'll sell it when we get back if we, uh, unless we find stuff in the meantime. We'll drop that and we'll drop the, um, the peppermint water. Which I've never heard of. A derringer. Sweet little, sweet little piece. Hide that in our robot's bodice. Pull it out when people aren't expecting it. Let's get a cavorite. Cavorite, cavorite. I I don't know what that means. Um, I have an association with the word as meaning something to do with like reanimating dead tissue or something. But I, I think I'm misremembering it for another word. Let's read it. Find out what the hell it does. Oh, we don't know what it did. I'll sell that and we'll find out. Where did all you chickens come from? While we were fighting them, I thought I saw a status effect pop up on the left of our screen. I don't know if they can do some sort of special damage that I was unaware of. Possible. Next time we meet one of those, we'll look at it. I don't, I don't, I, I don't have a visual in my head for what precise dinosaur that is. Yes, let's get that. Let's wear it. Let's wear a lappy lazuli ring of resist fire. Let's get rifle bullets, which we we'll put in our house until we, the day inevitably comes. We pick up a rifle. I, I forgot to even look at those. Were those hadrosaurs? Wasn't paying attention. We haven't met anything yet that even vaguely threatens us. Um, even Chicken Little, the boss, was like... She was dead before I realized she was in front of me. She was like impaled on my glance. Mana. Zinc telecopter mechanism? Yes. <laughs> Alright, phase door. Hell yeah. I'll take that. Uh, we've already got one, so let's take it to add in the stack for selling purposes. Gonna have to get a word of recall soon, or whatever the hell you call that. Don't want that. I mean, I guess it could be useful if you met a monster you wanted to duplicate so you'd get more experience or something, but... On the whole, I think it's considered a cursed object, like people won't, uh... Shopkeeps won't buy it from you. If it's the equivalent of a... Uh, Wand of Cloning, which I believe it is. This would lead us back towards town. Let's not go there yet. But we will go back soon. We'll sell off everything we're carrying, and then we'll pick up um, a recall so we don't have to keep going back and forth. I should have looked at that damn dancing candle flame. Let's get some descriptions happening again, guys. Broad sword. That's a good chunk of the map. Let's try and get to the west and see what's up there. Can we do control F? This level can't be all bad, is all we've learned. This was at a time when it didn't differentiate between danger, or didn't tell you a danger level. I don't remember if that's because... Oh, wait, we killed a kudzu, which is like creeping vines. It's kind of neat. Kudzu. Let's look at it, though, to get those descriptions. A creeping green carpet covers the floor and blocks your passage. The vines are creeping to surround you and trap you in place. It is normally found on dungeon level 49 and moves quickly, but does not deign to chase intruders. We get half an experience for it. It breeds explosively. Much like the petticoated lady in town. With a name that I can't pronounce. Demi Monomia or something. Let's take iron spikes. We can sell them. Going back to town soon, anyway. Chickens. I mean, we are here. We could just go back, but let's uh, let's just finish exploring the level. What the fuck? Oh, that was a a dogman, not a small dogman. We should look at them. I'm sure they are the equivalent of kobolds in in whatever the hell an ang band.
Whoa. Got an amulet. Wanna just wear it? Like a doof? I just fucking wear it like a doof. You're wearing an onyx amulet. A small and agile dinosaur, the largest of which reach approximately three feet from toe nose to tail. It mainly lives on insects and small reptiles. It is normally found on dungeon level 50. Which is, of course, where we are. Along with pheasants, who obviously live 500 feet under the earth. What are you, sir? Oh, that's a capuchin monkey. So it seems like if maybe maybe it functions akin to a shrieker in Angban, where it can like um, either summon monsters or cause them to uh, take notice of you, but also is mobile. A small, vicious, furry shape flies towards you. Be quick in defending yourself. It may shriek for help. I feel bad about killing a fucking monkey. Walking stick, we can sell it. Why not? Back here, pheasant. Get in my belly. Oh, you little bastard. There you are. Open. Mana. I didn't know that was bauxite nuggets. I guess that's a type of stone. Bauxite. I should have looked at it. Let's look at the more logs. Oh, I'm afraid. They uh, they can cause fear. That's pretty cool. In a moment, I was clutched by several hands, and there was no mistaking that they were trying to haul me back. I struck another light and waved it in their dazzled faces. You can scarce imagine how nauseatingly inhuman they looked. Those pale, chinless faces and great lidless, pinkish-gray eyes, as they stared in their blindness and bewilderment. Um, worth one and a half. Can grab to terrify. That's pretty cool. I don't know if we have any means of uh, getting rid of fear. Alright, we're afraid again. Fucking Morlocks, guys. Five does uh, PS. Pass your turn. Oops. Pressing enter opened that, by the way, guys. Take that look at that in a second. That's kind of neat, eh? You can um, just hit enter and go to a little menu here. That's nice. Death to all chickens. Bauxite nuggets. I don't want six bonbons. Although I probably should. They're probably worth decent money. Candy always is. I think we're going out, guys. Let's find the nearest stairs that go down. Although we'll, uh, we'll investigate this closed door in passing. All right, scene. And let's go up. Or, pardon me, down. Pardon me. I don't care. It's not going to be worth it. For the sake of a little bit of money we, we get from selling that dagger, I'm not going to puzzle out what I can drop to you know get one extra gold piece out of the transaction or something. We will take that because I want to know what it does. Let's drop um, the... well, we got seven peppermint waters. It's probably worth decent money. Let's drop the walking stick and get Goging's Wild Cherry Tonic, which we can sell. So say to learn what it is. What do we care what it is? We can't use it anyway. May have been a mistake. So we're just looking for stairs, guys. First staircase out. And we is gone. You know what? It would make more sense. Let's use, first of all, let's use... No, let's use P. Oh, in the process of doing that, we, we cast darkness, essentially. 
but we gained experience for doing that. I guess you gain experience from using new mechanisms? Is that true in Angban, from using new staves? I don't know. Let's drop that, though. A complex tool of anti-photon generation. <laughs> Take this, I guess. Oh, we can't sell that anyway, of course. The uh, tonic is... That's not something you want. D, we have three of them. They won't buy those. Remember how he sobbed when we sold it to him? Can I not drop it? Did I, did I not drop it? D, three. What am I doing? Let's use um, A. Use A. Maybe we can find the stairs. We did sense the presence of stairs. Where? Up and to the right. Also a trap. That'll be worth a good amount of money. Let's drop something in favor of that. Oh, we don't need to, do we? Yes. A bouncing quadraton mechanism. We have to take that just to learn what it is. It's less important that we find out what the cherry cola does, because um, we can't use it anyway, right? Uh, let's take this instead. Bouncing quadraton mechanism. I guess with the... Um, we do know there's that category called stack growth. Why am I going this way? The stairs are up here. Um, we do know there's that category called stack growth, and that's probably quite good news for us, given... I went the wrong way, guys. I'm foolish as fuck. Let's just... Well, let's go back. And let's use A. Um, we want to go down, not up. Son of a bitch. It's probably good news for us since we can't, um... We can't drink potions. And of course in Angband or, or Moria, the primary avenue to increasing your stats is drinking stat increase potions. And, uh, not only primary, I think the sole avenue, maybe, is that... So given we can't drink potions, it's a damn good thing. There's this built-in mechanic, apparently. There's a staircase up. We don't want that. We can sell it. What are we going to drop to get that? Or use. Let's use a mithril phonoscope mechanism. Oh, it's a word of recall. Okay, we now know what it is. Mechanism of returning, pardon me. Well, finding the stairs is no longer important, but finding this ray gun is. Yes. Maintenance automatons. Of course, we saw them before. There we go. What are you guys? Chimney sweeps. Dreaded chimney sweeps. A grubby child of unidentifiable gender sidles your way. Spare us a gov. Ah, fuck me. Spare us a penny, gov. It shouts at you in a broad cockney. He lives in the town and moves slowly. Basically, it's a... Bert from Mary Poppins, is that right? As a child. Let's sell this dude some shit. For instance, iron spikes. Thirteen of them. Only worth one gold piece each, for the record. Peppermint water. Ooh, that was worth a good amount of money. Worth picking that shit up. Let's um let's buy more flasks of oil. Like five of them. So we can stay down below for a while if we decide we need to. Let's give this guy our library book. Let's first of all inspect it. Maybe we have the ability to learn something from it now. If you had somewhere you could take the book and read it in peace. Pressing R doesn't do anything here. You can't rig a thing in here. Pressing B, we can't uh, 
Can't do anything with that. I think we're going to stop taking spell shit for a while. Um, let's just drop it or sell him the uh, the book. Again, yeah, maybe someday it'll prove useful to have it in here or something. I don't know. I imagine they're the equivalent of street urchins. Let's not fuck with them. A sailor. A sailor new in town from parts unknown. He lives in the town and moves slowly. I guess he says he's new in town, but he lives here. So I guess he uh, liked it enough to put down roots as soon as he arrived in port. Anything we want here? Not that I see. Let's sell him. Well, let's get rid of the uh, door and steel things. We don't. Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. All right, for eleven, sure. Press D or S in here to sell this shit. What are the Cavorite mechanisms? We'll sell one of them in case we want to keep the other. Detect invisible. Sell it for now. Worth even less now that we know what it is. What's the zinc telecopter mechanism? Photonic discharge, probably uh, equivalent of a you know a light ray. I'm guessing or maybe it's, maybe it's a scroll of light that lights up the room around you. Trap detection. Apparently, that was worth a lot. He laughed. Repair kit. Recharge, maybe? Maybe it recharges your mechanisms, your um, devices, whatever the hell they're called. Let's get rid of the photic beam. No. So now we'll keep that one. That one does some damage, doesn't it? Let's get rid of one of the soporific rays. He laughed loudly. Why? I guess we didn't know how many uh, charges were in it, so we might have sold it for a song. Gun of nerve dampening. Paralysis, maybe? Can we inspect that? Oops. That's what I'm trying to do. Inspect. Oh, I think we're looking at our own stuff when we do that. We want to look at L. A ray gun that makes... Fuck, blue is hard to read. Makes creatures slower. Okay, so slowness. Interesting. Hmm. Put the uh, Derringer away. Probably the equivalent of a sling. Let's drop the Derringer. Keep it for now, though. Let's drop rifle bullets. Let's drop other rifle bullets. Tons of rifle bullets if we decide to uh, go that route. I think all else is coming... W oh, we don't need two clean tools of photon generation. Can we tell how many... We, we don't know how many charges it has. Sure. He laughs loudly. <laughs> you maroon. Uh, we do want a sorry a um a means of returning to the surface. If such a device exists, we did take some. Can we can we look at let's look at B. I don't want to read this right now. It increases your magic bonus by one. Interesting. So this is one. Perhaps that we could read in the library to gain that. That's kind of neat, eh? What, how much does it cost? Is it right, or do I don't know? I don't, I don't know. So we we did take points in every category of um, of magic. So I mean, we probably could use some of those prayers. I just don't, we, we, because you have to swap to the book. Or at least we did. Do we still have to? Can we? Is there? Is there? Maybe there comes an eventual time when. 
So I can I can do this now. I, I don't have to swap to it. Okay, that changes everything, guys. Let's do sense will. You sense the presence of life. What do we got around here? Scrawny cat, that's unchanged. Chimney sweeps. Hot live gov. Hot chick with a weird name. De De I'm gonna have to look that word up. Demi mondane. Demi 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 mondane. Not to be confused with Demi Moore, another hot chick. Let's see if there's anything else to sell. Do we have a walking stick still? No, we don't. I think we're good to go, guys. I think we've done all we need to do. We could look at purchasing the lesser of these two holy books. Let's just, just do it. Let's find out what happens. You quickly agree on a price, yeah. All right, let's try M again. Well, now we have the ability to do Holy Protection Chant or Barrier. Let's do A. You feel righteous. I forget exactly what that does. Can we can we tell what that does? The power of God blesses you. It's a plus to AC and a plus to hit. Protection of the Lord is surrounds you with a protective wall. That's kind of neat. If we were needed to heal fast or something. Well, I like it, guys. Now that I can use those spells directly, you don't have to, you don't have to gain them, you just use them. But you do have to level up your... Um, is that right? You do have to level up, I think. When it says a certain, you need to be a certain level, it doesn't mean you have to be a certain level to cast it. It means that that particular category has to be that level or higher, which I think is really a fascinating system. I do like, I do like the uh, skill system in this game a lot. We, we still don't have a... Sorry, guys, we still don't have a... Manual of source of magic or, or device of powerful effects. You must be skilled to prevent dark forces from stealing your soul if foolish enough to work with sorcery. Items are safer, but are often quite difficult to figure out. Arcane red books use ego for failure rates. Divine green books use ego slash scholastic for failure rates. And items, brown, use scholastic. Um, of those two, our scholastic is much higher, so we will have a... We'll have a harder time using which one? We'll have a harder time with red books than we will with green books and devices. This guy only has tonics, which are useless to us. Um, let's browse H. I think that's what we want, right? No, not browse. Pardon me. Uh, look at H. A mechanism that transports you from the depths to the town and vice versa. There's a delay before it takes effect. Let's um, purchase H4. Eating up our money, yo. All right, we got plenty now. We're not even gonna use one to go down. Um, so void. Nellie Bly seems to, her name is Nellie Bly. You know her. She's Elizabeth Cochran. I, I thought she was Ellie, Nellie Bly. The fuck? Oh, a star reporter for the New York World who writes under the pen name Nellie Bly. You wonder what she's doing here. You remember that she did travel around the world in 72 days, emulating Phileas Fogg, of course. She lives in the town and moves slowly. She can speak. And speak. <laughs> that sounds like regret. Somebody's standing beside her. Oh, God, that woman can speak. That woman talks. All right, let's grab the money. How are we doing for time here, guys? We got about another... No, we don't want cheese. Well, yes, we do want cheese. I guess we decide to sell it. Um, oh, we're getting warm, guys. Let's eat some. Let's eat some oil. Your engine has sufficient lubricant. Yeah, I'm gonna take the pistol bullets, sure. A steam-driven photograph mechanism, yes. Absolutely. Oh, I'm getting it confused. Up is down, so we want up right now. While we're trying to get further into the depths. We want another up, as a matter of fact. I'm ready to go. These levels are just a little bit too easy for me. I don't want to die, but I do want some level of challenge, right? Getting two hours in, we're only down to dungeon level two. Eh, we don't need a Derringer. Nah. So we're looking for up staircases. Go, oh, and it's also use, of course. You sense the presence of doors. Alright, let's also use... 
System cipher? No, we can't use that. Let's use A. A. Right? No, we wanted B. M A B. You sense the presence of life. Where? Alright, there's some aliens stuff down to the south. Do we see him? We didn't see a staircase yet, though. Obviously, still within the confines of what we've um, detected traps within, you know, because we're still seeing doors and shit around. An animated clay. An animated mound of clay vaguely resembling a short, stocky humanoid lumbers toward you. Lumps of earth are constantly falling off of the beast, but it never seems to lose any mass. Two dull quartz crystals are jutting out of the head in the semblance of eyes. It moves slowly. Your blade glances off the animated clay. Oh, shit. But we did hurt it, it looks like. We're hurting it, we're just not hurting it effectively. But we are hurting it more than it's hurting us, which means we can just stand here and do that. Don't want that. Take it for now to learn what it is, but who cares? Iron tool, absolutely. Sure. Yes. Try and get down to the next level. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll call it there. We're getting close to an hour. And I'm getting close to starvation in real life, so... That's the tiebreaker as to whether we continue going or not. Hello, alien. Alien flower. There's another alien around here. There we go. Not anymore. Oh, we can gain, guys. We must have gone up a level at some point. Let's put it all what well, we can. Utility ciphers is the one we want the most, for me. Using devices, sure. Dragon's Heart, yep. And we will also go over to... Neophyte Combat. We still have one point. Let's put it into Spirituality. I'm guessing this is the uh, Prayers one. Allows you to learn basic prayers. Let's get one more level of that. I didn't notice there was no, um... Still no stat growth. I don't know what causes that. Freemason initiated. We should, we should be looking at these things, guys. We're, we're missing out on vital descriptors that are fun. Let's also use A. In case there's any traps around, right? I think our light's going out, guys. Don't need leather gloves. We can't use those. Okay. Wield. P. Let's drop the one that's totally empty. We'll probably sell it, apparently. Kind of shocks me. Why the hell he wants a burnt stick? I don't know. You're a flame elemental, essentially. A dancing candle flame. A small animated column of deep red flame climbs about three feet from the floor. Its sole purpose is to burn everything it can. This strange elemental fire has possibly been summoned here by some foolish conjurer and is now running amok. Occasionally, a tendril of flame lashes out of the main column to burn a line across the floor. It is normally found so we can shoot out fire, too. It's kind of neat. Was kind of neat. My goodness, where the hell's the staircase? Strange terminal. <clears throat> mm. 
Magors. One thousand phosphatonic, yeah. Not that I can use it, as far as I can tell. Maybe there's a skill I can learn or something that allows me to drink potions. I don't know. And there we go. Oops, kill that guy. Oh, I forgot to look at him. And down we go. With four and a half, or up we go, I guess. Four and a half minutes to spare, guys. We'll keep going for a second. I mean, sure, for now. What are you? A rat man. It is a small rat-headed humanoid. It looks filthy. He walks semi-upright and moves towards you with vengeance gleaming in his dull red eyes. It's like Vermintide. Let's, uh, let's fucking aim a ice bolt at him. No. Alright, sure. Photic beam. Let's magic his ass. Hit him with an ice bolt. He's getting away, guys. Aim. A photic beam. Damn it. Aim. Photic beam. Aim. Photic beam. Alright, he's dead. Let's get the, the clay. We are getting hurt, guys. i got to be a little bit careful. I'm kind of just skipping along like nothing matters here, and of course it matters. I guess. Set of gloves? No. Let's rest. An aggressive Morlock, no less. And saw a queer little ape-like figure, its head held down in a peculiar manner, running across the sunlit space behind me. My impression of it is, of course, imperfect. But I know it was a dull white, and had strange, large, grayish-red eyes. Also, that there was flaxen hair on its head, and down its back. Well, this calls for more ice bolts. Aim of the will. Um, did I kill it? Or did it run? Given my health is pretty low, let's just hope it's gone. Now it's coming back. I died. Okay. Alright, that's good enough. So willpower, one of these is... Oh, spiritual power, I guess, we use for the green. And W is willpower, I guess, for the magic. That's my guess. Two separate spell point categories. Kind of neat that we can cast both. There's definitely some twists and turns to this game that uh, set it apart from standard Ang Band. Not just a, it's not purely a reskinning, although that's obviously here. Whoa, water sprite. Oh, we need to kill one of these or something, don't we? A small animated half sphere of water is coursing about the cavern, hurling bolts of water at anything that gets in its way. When creatures attempt to engage it in melee, cord like arms sprout from the top of the bubble to fend them off. The smooth surface of the sphere belies the fury beneath. It moves at normal speed, resists edge weapons, it can spit to attack. Uh, but does it resist? aim of the will. It twitches from the attack. Let's try it again. It shakes from the attack. If we don't kill it soon, guys, we are dead. Let's, um, let's rest here if we can. Fuck, here comes a Morlock, I think. No, a Capuchin Monkey. We're, we're, we're facing some things that are scary now, guys. Definitely weren't before. I think we killed it? No. Got it with the photic ray gun. No. Let's rest here, guys. Fuck me. Here comes a Freemason. An intellectual with workman's tools. He is of the tall cedars of Lebanon Lodge. I don't know anything about that. I assume that's a real... Uh, it might be a reference to something in fiction, or it might be an actual... Um, Freemason... Pff, organization in the world, in which case, again, kind of dangerous if we're here to kill it. I don't know. 
The basic tenet of Freemasonry is to make a good man better. The initiate needs to ponder this more, as he is charging at you with a hammer in his hand. <laughs> Normally, if I, it shouldn't be too hard to kill. Let's just go kill him. All right, fuck him. Stop wasting all of our money and our spell points and and photic charges. All right, let's um. You know what, guys? That's the hour. Let's call it right there. So we are starting to face, face some danger. The game's getting more interesting now. we got seven water sprites to kill, allegedly, on this level. So we'll hang out here till we've completed our easy quest and figure out what to do after that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back as soon as I can. I do, um, the next... What day is today? The next several days, I do have some, um, like, not just standard work that I've been doing around the house, like, on my own projects, but actual go-to-work work to do. Uh, so it, I, I may have to take a few days off. I'm not sure. If I find some time, I may uh, record some more, some more tomorrow. If not, it may be a few days before I get back. Either way, when I return, we'll pick back up with XR2000 and his journey from the center of the Earth. Let's, uh, let's do file save. We did it. Oops. Let's do control X. We did it. See ya.